Thomas, the radiation safety officer for the local hospital, is doing periodic dosimetry measurements for employees working near powerful x-ray machinery in the facility. He takes measurements of two radiologists, Lauren and Amy, who qualify as needing their exposures monitored periodically. Based on data from the last 12 months, Lauren's average exposure was 0.75 millirem per hour, while Amy's average exposure was 0.6 millirem per hour. If Amy sits 30 feet from the machinery, the distance Lauren sits from the machinery is most nearly A, 10, B, 9, C, 8, or D, 7. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Radiation may be defined as energy traveling through space. Non-ionizing radiation is essential to life, but excessive exposures will cause tissue damage. All forms of ionizing radiation have sufficient energy to ionize atoms that may destabilize molecules within cells and lead to tissue damage. In addition to the natural environment, radiation sources are found in a wide range of occupational settings, including medical centers and industrial facilities. If radiation is not properly controlled, it can be potentially hazardous to the health of workers. Lastly, the radiation spreads out as it travels away from the gamma or x-ray source. Therefore, the intensity of the radiation follows Newton's inverse square law, which states that the intensity is inversely proportional to the distance from the source. In simpler terms, the intensity times the distance squared at one location is equal to the intensity times the distance squared at another location. Using the inverse square law equation, we need to find the distance Lauren sits from the machinery. Assigning Lauren as 1 and Amy as 2, let's plug in the values. We will rearrange the equation to isolate D1 on one side of the equation. We will take the square root of both sides to get D1 and we get a value of 26.83 feet. We need this value in units of meters and realizing that there are 3.28 feet per meter, we complete this unit equation and we get an answer of 8.18 meters, which is closest to answer C. Join us for episode 11 of 52PE Exam Problems.